Hi guys, welcome back to The Fight Brand. As always, I am your host, Shayla Fight. So today I want to talk to you about goals and vision. So before we get into that, I'll kind of go into a little backstory on how I came to this revelation because I wasn't living up to all of my goals and my vision. So I'm the type of person, I'm a brave person. I am not the type of person like that's like fearful. I think I can do anything. I am like not scared of anything. I'll at least try it. And one of the things that made me reflect on me not matching up with my goals and my vision is this year, I just felt like, okay, this is going to be my year. Things are going to be different. And I realized at the beginning of the year, I wrote everything down that I wanted to accomplish. But about, I want to say this week, I started realizing like, wait, I'm going into the second quarter and I'm looking at my list and I'm like, I didn't check off a lot of things this first quarter. And I'm like, mm -mm, girl, wait a minute, time out. Mm -mm, what's going on? And I had to have a self reflection and a self check because I'm like, I felt like I wasn't operating as powerful as I used to. So before I was, before I started this business, when I was styling, I was transitioning into branding and I remember emailing and I was like, my goal is to email 250 agents a day and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I remember barely sleeping, but I felt energized and I was ready to go. And like now I'm like in a different season and I'm like, hmm, I'm not moving the way that I used to. Like, I don't feel like I'm like that energized and like I'm moving like I'm supposed to. And I had to sit and tell myself like, Back then, I was starting something. So yes, the, the movement and what I'm supposed to do is going to be a lot different than where I am now. You know what I mean? Now that I have my business, I have to be the quarterback of it. I have to be like, okay, think about a quarterback. A quarterback is not going to just throw the ball. You know what I mean? They're going to analyze the whole situation. They're going to see the floor. They're going to see the players. And then they're, they are going to hit their target. They're not going to throw to a player. They're like, you know what? He ain't going to catch that ball. As a quarterback for my own life, I say to myself, if I hit that, if I throw that ball to that over there, I'm going to get a touchdown. That's it. I'm going to get a touchdown as a quarterback. I'm not going to just throw the ball and, and get a turnover. And for my life, I felt like, I'm not acting as a quarterback. I was acting as a confident quarterback. And I was like, that has to stop. I have to see my visions clear. I don't care what happens in my life. I don't care what happens. I don't care if a plane came crashing down tomorrow. I'm going to handle that plane crash and get back to what I need to do after that. And that's how I chose to operate. So when I had that reflection this week, like you're not hitting your goals, you're not hitting your target, you're not throwing the ball so we can get a touchdown and we can win the game, girl, you got to get it together. And when I realized that, I was like, okay, let me sit down. I sat down, I got real quiet and I had to talk with God and I'm like, look, honey, your girl needs some help. And I just started listening to not only God, but what I truly desired in my heart for not only my business, but for my life, because my life is my business. I am everything of my creation. And if personally I'm not happy, my business is going to suffer. And I found myself self-sabotaging my business and my creation because I wasn't aligning myself with my visions and my goals. So that is the whole reason why this video today is called Goals and Vision because I want you to sit down and get very clear. I mean, get crystal clear on your goals and your vision. And one of the things that I said to myself to kind of give me, you know, more wiggle room in my day is I started writing down everything that I needed to accomplish for the next day, but I gave myself 24 hours to do it. So, if I fell asleep at 11 and then I woke up at midnight, I'd start working on my goals because I'm my own boss. I can do that. I have the luxury of being able to do that. I say, I wanted to go to sleep at 2 a.m. I'm going to go to sleep at 2 a.m. And then I'm going to wake up. <laughs> if I want to get back to doing my business and my goals again, I do that. And if I have scheduled calls, say at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., whatever, 
I work around those calls. I work around what I have to do, and I still have until eleven. I still have until eleven fifty nine that same day to get my goals done. And when I gave myself that permission to be able to work like that, I found a freedom in that instead of trying to be like, no, from three to five, I'm gonna do this. From five to six, I'm not that way. I'm the type of person I gotta work, work hard, work hard, and then give myself some downtime because. That's why one of the reasons why I never worked at an office job, because listen, child, I, I can't do it. I can't sit there for eight hours straight under a thumb and it's, you expect me to get work done. I can't sit still. I can't sit still for that long. I need to work in blocks. So when I learned and gave myself permission to work in blocks, I was like, oh my gosh, like girl, like you should have been doing that. But I share this with you because you might be like me. You know what I mean? You might be thinking that you're busy and thinking that you're getting all this done and you're not actually getting anything done. So I hope that this video helps you work in blocks so you can be the quarterback of your life. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for paying attention. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. I will see you guys next week.